Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. In today's segment, we're going to talk about dissimilar materials, and then this is the real deal. Every once in a while, you run into a project that's stainless steel, and you run into a project that's steel, and you want to be able to put them together, and you don't know exactly what you should use. You got some filler material there, you got some MIG wire you want to cut off. But, but here's the reality. First of all, you need to know that it is stainless steel. And one good, easy way to check is see if it's magnetic. Most stainlesses are non-magnetic, and I, I say that, most stainlesses. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and check. I've got a super magnet here. Okay, so I'm checking it with a magnet. I don't have any magnetism. The piece that I have tacked onto it certainly is magnetic. So it, it definitely looks like mild steel. It's got the, uh, the coating on there like mild steel. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to try to figure out what's the best filler material because I'm, I'm going to TIG weld it on DC just like I would any stainless or any steel. But I need to know what filler because, you know, crack sensitivity and, and mixing and matching the alloys is very critical. So I went ahead and went to my weld.com chart. There's a comparison chart. You can go to your stainless steel fillers. And I happen to know that this is a 304 stainless. So look on your chart, 304, 304L, and cross-reference it over to mild steel. And it'll give you three different alloys that you can use. So, you know, you can pick and choose. All of them are stainless alloys, so just so you know. So there'll be a 309 in there, a 310, and a 312. Um, I happen to, to, to like 312. I don't know, it just kind of wets out a little bit nicer. Uh, but it makes it very compatible, very doable. You don't lose any strength of any kind. Um, and it's just, it, it's a good way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gear on. I've got this thing pre-tacked, and we'll get a close-up, and you can see how this material wets out. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So just know DC, uh, used Argon, 20 CFH of Argon, and my filler was 045 diameter, 312 stainless steel. Uh, again, just using my small TIG machine, probably at about 80 amps is all I needed on this. But uh, Okay, now that I've finished welding, I've got the two components. I've got, I've got mild steel, which is right here, to stainless steel. Now take a look at the finish. The finish on the stainless is really, really good. The finish on the steel is not. It's got rust and oxides and everything else on it. Now this filler that we're using, it's called ER312. It's a very sluggish type filler, but it's got some uh, chromium in it and it's got some other elements in it, got a little bit of nickel in it. And it's just very slow to wet out. So just know that the response time when you start dabbing, it's not gonna get quite as liquid. So I call it gummy, uh, but it'll sustain itself very well. Good tensile strength. It mixes and matches these alloys very well. Uh, recommend it many, many times. So 312, 310, or 309, it's your choice. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.